I thought I was gonna go to do theater stuff, and I got a point and shoot camera back in middle school, and I, and I was just taking photos, and I was like, okay, this is a thing, this is fun. And my cousin was like, hey man, those are really nice, you should maybe try and pursue that and refine it a little bit more, and I was like, you know, I might just take a photo class in high school. And then I was like, oh wait, this is kind of fun. This is, this is cool. You can see, have your shoulders go this way. And then, yes. Once I do a day of shooting and, I, and it's awesome, then I, I feel better about myself. Like, I just feel better. Like, I'm like, okay, I made something cool. Okay, like, yeah, just have some like, ah, put some like, yes. With that was the best program for what I was looking for. I just really like the whole atmosphere. It's like a family, and I don't know if it's like the same experience I'll get anywhere else. I just have a wise, older, like, person that's not my family I can talk to. I can rely and count on the honest opinions of my, like, mentors that I'm learning from. Mark Hamilton, for example, like, he's the most honest, straightforward person you'll ever meet. You know, I look at my role here as being a guide. A guide is usually helpful in taking someone to a place that they've never been before. I feel with my extensive commercial background that I've had, both as a photojournalist and as a commercial photographer, that I'm able to help my students go to a place that they've never been before because I've been there. Instead of thinking that way, like the thing that I love about this is the color. So what about if you just made it with things that are color and don't worry about whether or not they break? Okay. You know, like, what would it look like if you had Legos, like, yeah. exploding in the air? Or what about if it was broccoli? You know, like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, what about if it was exploding blo broccoli? Like, yeah. You know, broccoli. <laughs> if it was exploding broccoli. And, like, just something that was vibrant with color. The most important thing that I try to teach my students to do is to be independent thinkers. The other thing that I want them to do is to transcend the ordinary. Having small classes and one-to-one -one interaction with um, students and professors, that's one of the things that's unique about the Winthrop experience here in our creative community. The fact that I allow them into my space where I work, it forges a more personal relationship with the students, and they know that I really care about them. Having a good creative environment is crucial for the development of any artist. I saw Will's portfolio when he was a high school student, and he told me that he had this ambition of being a commercial photographer, and I really thought that he had the potential to go on to really do some great work. One of the things that I've seen in, in a progression with Will is something similar that I would hope would happen with all of our students. Having a, a sense of self and really realizing what makes you unique, what is your own personal creative vision, in the process of finding who you are, that's when you learn to like transcend the ordinary. I kind of came in thinking, oh, I already know this stuff. I'm just going to take classes and I'm going to get better even more. But I'm just, I'm, I'm already know stuff. But I didn't know a single thing coming in here. <laughs> I was definitely pushed my limits, and I was, I kind of broke my ego, and then they kind of are building me back up again, and it's kind of like, okay, I'm making some things, and I'm really proud of it at the same time. <laughs>